Hi everybody and welcome to another piano video here on the Miriam Pianos YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of all four, yes I said four, Roland piano tone engines that you can currently get in their lineup in 2022. So we're gonna be covering the V piano. We're gonna be talking about the Supernatural sample-based engine, the Pure Acoustic Supernatural, which is actually a modeling engine. And finally, their Zencore, which is available on a few of their synth and stage piano models out there. If it's the first time that you are seeing us here on the channel right now, or at any point in the video that you are enjoying it, getting something out of it, would like to see more, hit that subscribe and the notification bell so that we can see you back for more. We love this growing channel and community, and we'd love to see you back for more. So without further ado, let's jump right in to this four-way comparison of Roland's piano tone engines right away. So Roland is a big player in the digital piano space. They make a full line of home digital pianos, uh, stage pianos, portable digital pianos, uh, and we cover uh, pretty well every model that Roland makes when it comes to an 88 note offering. And as we do these videos, uh, we receive a lot of technical questions and we have come across a bit of a trend. People really uh, looking for some clarity or even direct examples of um, all of the different Roland sound engines because um, at the present moment, uh, there are no less than four versions of uh, acoustic piano generating tone engines that are available across the entire Roland line. And that includes their supernatural piano engine being driven by the BMC chip. It now includes the pure acoustic supernatural engine which is available on several models it includes the Zencore piano engine um, available mostly on their synths uh, and the RD88 uh, and then we still have the V piano engine that is available through the RD2000 it's also available through the Phantom series and so curiosity got the better of me and I thought well if I could entertain myself as well as hopefully answer some of those questions out there for people really curious about the difference between all of these engines, why not dive in? So that's exactly what we're going to do today. We have uh, a Phantom 8 on my left, uh, which employs the Zencore engine as well as the V piano engine. Then we have an FP30X in front of me, which employs the latest version of their Supernatural engine, which is not the pure acoustic, but driven by the BMC chipset. And then on my right is the FP90X, uh, which has in it the pure acoustic uh, engine, which is still a supernatural based engine, but it's a little bit more uh, advanced and it is also a modeling engine. So we've got pure acoustic modeling, which is not V piano. Then we've got supernatural, which is still their sample based. Then we've got Zencore, which is, which is full synthesis and V piano, uh, which is modeling. I've had a chance to play all four of these engines uh, through these three keyboards. Uh, for quite a while, we've been set up, uh, ready to do uh, the video. Lee keeps coming in and asking, are you ready yet? Are you ready yet? But I just find it so fascinating to kind of sample all of these different experiences. They do play quite differently from one another. 
Um, it's less easy for me to say which one I really strongly prefer. It's a lot easier for me to point out the differences and articulate the differences rather than actually uh, kind of come up with a, with a bit of a preference. But, you know, we'll, we'll get into that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to play through all four engines so that you can have a chance to hear what I'm hearing. Then I'm going to get into sharing some of my observations on what the differences between all of these are. Before I begin playing, I want to point a couple of things out. One, we're capturing all three of these instruments through analog stereo inputs into exactly the same uh, audio uh, interface, so there is no difference in the recording quality or technique between any of these three. Uh, also, all three have been left on their default uh, piano sounds. There's been no editing, there's been no um, effects um, added on to this. Uh, it's pretty much just the standard default uh, piano sounds as they came out of the box. Also, while I'm observing it, I'm going to be using three sets of the exactly the same headphones. In this case, we're using the Sony MDR7506, um, not an audiophile uh, headphone by any means, but kind of a standard run-of-the-mill, studio-grade, everyday kicker kind of headphone. So we're on an equal playing field right across the board. I'm going to start over on the Phantom, where we're going to hear the Zen Core as well as the V Piano. So first, we will be playing the Stage Grand, the V Piano. This is also exactly the same set of presets, by the way, that you can get on the RD2000. Now, I'm going to play the same thing using the Zencore. And this is the Acoustic Pop Piano 1 that's included in Zencore. So this would be the same uh, preset that you'd find on the RD88.
Moving on now to the Supernatural engine, uh, which is on the BMC chip, and we're going to be playing Concert Piano, which is the default setting. And then finally, the modeling engine, the pure acoustic version of the Supernatural, which is the modeling engine, as I said at the beginning, not the same as the V-Piano engine. Interesting. So the two cleanest sounds, the ones that sound the clearest, the highest resolution, are definitely the two modeling engines, the V piano and the Pure Acoustic Supernatural. Yeah, you just don't hear any degradation, compression, uh, or loss of clarity in any part of the sound, whether you're talking about the transients right at the beginning of the attack of the note, uh, whether you're talking about the sustain, the really high uh, you know, um, frequencies that you're gonna hear through some of the reverberation uh, or, or just the, the top part of the partials in the note. I mean, it's just really, really clean. But between those two, there's quite a big difference in the dynamic response and the sense of uh, tonal range that I get between the two. It's very, very interesting. Um, on the V piano, um, I'm getting uh, a ton of different color out of all of the different models, but within uh, any specific model, the tonal variance from soft to loud and, and even my sense of, of how dynamic the playing experience is, is actually a little bit narrower, I find, than what I get on the pure acoustic. And I'm just going to try and find a few examples of that. So if we go back to Stage Grand,
or deep concert. East Coast Studio. A little more variation there. Contemporary Concerto. Yeah, there's Symphony Hall. So from patch to patch, I'm getting a really nice broad range of character, but when, when I'm within that patch, the character uh, feels uh, very predefined uh, and, and the playing style doesn't really nudge it too much in any direction. You've really got a sound, you've got a character there. Now for recording purposes, this makes a ton of sense. I, I, it makes sense why this is on, say, uh, the Phantom and not uh, one that's designed more for home playing or hobbyist playing. Uh, if you are fitting in piano tracks into recording and you want a very specific character, you don't want a piano track to have this huge variance in tonal color over the course of the whole track because you kind of are going to have a lane and you want the piano to stay in that lane. Um, but with the comparison side by side, it's really quite interesting to witness the difference in how narrow versus how wide. So let me just get quickly this back in your ear. So here's stage grand again. Over to the FP90X. There just feels like a, a width there and uh, a bit more of an intimacy that I'm getting from that pure acoustic uh, engine. So if I was going to have to pick one and use it for everything, solo piano recording, um, this actually feels uh, like a more versatile option than the V piano. However, you know, having the V piano, you're never limited to one. You're always going to have the option to, you know, uh, uh, pinch in one uh, for the other depending on the circumstance. Um, so really well suited for two very different applications. Now when we go to the Zencore uh, and the Supernatural engine that doesn't utilize modeling, it's just uh, the BMC chip with the sample base, um, you get a, a different type of experience.
first thing I notice is that the uh, character of the sound out of the standard Supernatural is a lot brighter than what you get out of the pure acoustic. You can, of course, adjust that down. You can make some adjustments to the brilliance. Interesting. So when you're really in the low volume ranges, on the sample based, there's still, uh, you can still make out a sense of air and a sense of space around the piano that's coming from the fact that it's a real recording. So. Yeah, there's a bit of a grit to the space around the note on that one that I really like. Yeah, so the clarity and the richness and the dynamic levels that you get out of the pure acoustic are definitely sitting at the top of the list out of all four of these. This certainly has um, a, a bit of an analog sound to it. It's coming, I think, from the fact that it's a real recording. There's just certain aspects of the sense of space and air, soundstage, uh, that's very, very difficult to replicate uh, with modeling. Uh, even the best engines have some trouble uh, with this. Certainly the most complex give you uh, the ability to, to create and synthesize that, but you really need to get in there and tweak it. This sort of has that, but a lesser uh, sense of dynamic control than you get out of there. Obviously with an FP30X or most keyboards, you're not going to get even close to the level of sampling depth that you'd get out of an engine such as uh, you know VSL where you know per instrument you're talking about 200 300 gigs worth of samples this is nothing close to that there's one engine that we haven't really dug into and that is the Zencore 
So here is, once again, the Acoustic Pop Piano 1. So the Zencore is the only one of these engines which is not a specialized engine uh, created for piano. Now what Zencore is, is Roland's modern take on what synthesis has really become in the keyboard world and the, uh, in the music production world, uh, where you have multiple oscillator sources being fed through independent uh, filters, uh, various uh, effects. Um, and kind of bundling them all together. You see this uh, in soft synths like Omnisphere, uh, where you have all of these different uh, singular partials uh, being bundled into patches and kind of combination sounds. Uh, and so Roland is doing this with their Zencore. You've got up to four of those, uh, each with their own filters and with their own effects and bundling them into these patches. Uh, but what's more, they've built it so that there's a number of instruments with this Zencore architecture. So you've got this interchangeability uh, from user to user, from instrument to instrument, even switching from hardware to software where you can build a patch uh, software transfer to hardware and vice versa. So there's a lot of really interesting application and possibility with what they have done with Zencore. Uh, but as I said, what it isn't is a synth uh, or a, a sound source uh, where the architecture of that sound source is specifically conceived of uh, uh, around replicating uh, acoustic pianos and everything that goes into that. Uh, so for people who are looking to plug in a uh, piano uh, in, a, in a very kind of limited capacity to recording, that would work for people using a live setting. Um, and particularly not a classical live setting, but a pop R&B live setting, I can see this being totally sufficient. When it comes to all of the things that are the hardest to replicate, Zencore probably falls to the bottom of this list uh, in terms of these four engines, uh, in terms of how authentic the sustain sounds, in terms of the resolution of the overall, uh, overall tone, the dynamic range, the tonal range. Um, but in the instruments where they've equipped Zencore, these are multifunction instruments that are really intended for live use. And the whole point is to try and give the instrument as wide a range of tone as possible. So RD88, uh, which is a stage piano, uh, you know, the Phantom series, which obviously can act as a stage piano, uh, workstation synth, all of that stuff. Um, but that is the full four engines. We've got the V piano uh, with some uh, huge tonal variety uh, available uh, through all of these different uh, models and, and algorithms they've created, um, but not a tremendous amount of variation once you're within uh, that range. You're, you're playing uh, really has the dynamic range you're looking for, but tonally it's, it's a little more narrow. 
the whole thing is super clean with tons of modifications available because of the engine. You've got the sample based Supernatural, which in certain settings is actually probably my favorite of any of them because you really have this sense of intimacy with the tone. You can hear the air uh, around it. Um, but both the dynamic and the uh, tonal variation tends to be not as wide as what you get on the fourth engine, which is your Supernatural Pure Acoustic, which is also a modeling engine. Um, uh, where you have this huge dynamic range uh, and you have a huge tonal range um, but you don't have quite the same sense of authenticity when it comes to the space around the tone. You'd have to get in there and probably uh, muck with the settings uh, to come up with some you know, reverb or, or, or space simulations that really started to give you some of that thickness, uh, some of that uh, you know, heavy air around the tone uh, to replicate what you get uh, in a really good sample base. So there you go folks, a 2022 wrap up of all of the piano engines that uh, Roland currently offers on the marketplace. We hope that this has been helpful uh, and we look forward to seeing you back on the channel because if it's the first time that you've seen us here, we would really love for you to hit that subscribe and the notification bell. Um, because we're always coming out with videos like this. And if you like this one, perhaps you'll like the next one and the next one and the next one. Anyway, my name is Stu Harrison. This has been Marion Pianos on YouTube, and we'll see you again soon. <laughs>